I don't have to do anything. But I hope you don't fucking sleep tonight. And I hope you feel like you have chiggers biting your little fucking ball sack off. Good luck with the night, bitch. Okay. Well, at least I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> Sorry. I can't stand people like that. Oh, I was just having an emotional breakdown, DJ Blizzy, about how I had a really fucking shitty day because of my self-reflection on the fact that so many people have taken advantage of me in the last six months. And then this little fucker starts talking shit when he doesn't even know my walk of life at all. Am I thankful to be here today? Yes. Am I thankful that I'm not in some fucking white van kidnapped? Yes. Am I thankful I'm not on Learn to the Bridge shooting up meth? Yes. I've never done that. Just to make that clear. But that could be where I'm at. Anyways, yes, I booted him. Okay, fuck. But yeah, moral of the story is life is a long fucking up and down road. And you learn lessons and sometimes it takes about a hundred times to learn it before you do. So it's a lot of self-reflection. Oh, you do, Chris? You're always a fucking idiot. Wait till his little BMW breaks down. He'll remember me. All right. Anyway, something worse could happen. And he's going to look across the street and he's going to see some little blonde girl just like me. And he's going to remember this moment. I've not put anything in my food. All right, with that being said, I don't know if it's a good night for me to be live. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Now I'm not changing for anyone. I'm not doing anything for anyone. That's part of my hard lesson I had to learn in life is I've given all to everyone and done things that people have told me. So I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm not going to listen to others unless it's really good advice. Thank you, Chris. You said that you've been having trouble this last few months with people taking advantage of you. Don't get into anybody. Take your kindness for weakness. That's exactly what happened, Mike. Well, I'm just saying, I don't want to put my blue dress on. That is what I'm saying is people have seen my kindness as a weakness and taken advantage of it. And that is what happened. But now I'm creating myself boundaries. I'm not letting that happen anymore. But I said that a few times in life and then it kept happening. But this time I'm really going to stick to it. And you can't really let it go. I can't let it go right now because all of the taking advantage of has now caught up with me in such a situation where I can't catch up at the moment. I'm going to be able to catch up. It's just taking a long time. So then I go through moments of stress 
because certain problems are not solved. And so it triggers me into very draining moments. Yes, I am using it as motivation. You're exactly right, Carlos. Yes. Yes, it's going to be good. Life is going to be beautiful. I mean, I really know it is. It's just sometimes, yeah, sometimes you just have moments in your life where it's just, I think when you reflect and you realize things, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's move on. I may just get offline for now and write. <laughs> I don't know, Bon. Yeah, and just write by myself, a little like self-reflection. Well, I don't have a lot of loose time. That's the problem, Mike, is I've been working so hard to catch up on everything in the last few months and as I'm trying to catch up on these things and I'm making a list and I am progressing I've continued to let other people take in that taken advantage of me and so it's a constant swirl of just it's like you know what I mean and then some of the things are still coming up from like the beginning of the summer it's just, it's a lot. So it's hard to catch up. I don't have a lot of time in the day. Thank you, Chris. It's not a lot of time in the day. I'm constantly doing something to catch up. I do take moments so. though. But thank you, Chris. Um, it's, it's just so much sometimes that you don't know what to do. So you just start doing something. And so um, I'm very thankful. I have a friend helping me like organize on how to actually catch up completely. Yes, I am doing my best to catch up. And this is this week and last week was the first step of switching things. Anyways, let's put some music on and I can just start catching up right now, right here. It's actually midnight. Yeah, exactly, Mike. Exactly. I can't remember which Mike you are now. Shoot. So actually, I think I may just go. Um, it's. You're right. You're right. I need to put my phone down. I need to get off all of my phones and just relax, I think. Maybe just write for a few hours. Actually, that's not possible because then my hand will fall off. Chris, I can't stay with you. This is part of, this is part of what I mean. It is midnight right now and I can't stay up until four in the morning. And I can't stay up until one in the morning because then it's, I wake up and I don't have enough sleep and then I'm sleep deprived and stressed out more, can't work efficiently, and then it's even more stressful. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm creating a boundary here. I can't. I can't. Yes, I'm single, y'all. I'm single and alone. And I want to break glass over the railing. You know those places you can go and just smash it? So what I think I just need to do is I just need to smash things and then sit on the floor and cry. Yeah, 
You're right. You're right, Rose. Good night, y'all. And before I go, I want everyone to know I am fine. It's not that I'm about you. Do I want to be your thought? Do I want to be your thought, 725? I want to fucking shove my fist in your face and tell you to shut the fuck up. Go find a different fucking thought page because this isn't a thought page. That's what I want to do. Do I want to be anyone's girlfriend? No, I don't. What I want to do is I want to be alone, be happy, and smash glass bottles everywhere. I want to be in a room full of wine glasses, expensive wine glasses, and bottles of wine, red wine, and sheets hanging. And I just want to smash them. That's what I want to do. And maybe drink a bottle of wine while doing it. That is what I want to do right now. So let me make this clear. I do not want a boyfriend. I do not want to be any of your girlfriends. I want to be alone. I'm very thankful for everyone on here and thankful for everyone gifting me and being kind and being my friend. Medfrey, do you do? Yes, Rhodes. We do. I know. All right. And on that note, I'm going to be getting off now. Have a great night. Medford, a personal smashing room. Sounds excellent. Aaron, hello. I'm a I got your six. My six, James? <laughs>